Ashlight by Native Instruments was one of the top three plugins I was waiting for in the release of Complete Ultimate. So join me as I create an entire song idea using nothing but Ashlight. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll at least get a glimpse of how great this plugin sounds. Maybe even pick it up for yourself. Now thank you for Native Instruments sending it over so that I could share it with you. So let's go check it out. You may or may not think that Ashlight fits a specific genre of music. I'll leave that up for you to decide. For me, I think really any producer or songwriter could use it. Now it does give me a pretty big cinematic feel, but I love that type of music and writing that type of music. So let's do a quick overview, but it is very similar to a lot of Native Instruments other plugins. So here's just the initialized first sound. And we can adjust the XY pad. That sounds super cool. So really how it's comprised is you have a grain area here, and then you have a sample area. We can adjust the volume for each of them. And outside of using set presets, we can actually just go in and make our own sounds as well. I can click the grain here. So let's say instead I wanted this sub bells, and then on the sample, let's do some type of pluck sound, maybe baritone guitar. Let's bring down that baritone a little bit. Super, super dope. So we can go in and we can click the grain section here and now I can manipulate that sound however I would like and also randomize it is another spot I could do that. Now I can do the same thing with the sample. We can randomize the sample and we can also manipulate it in this area. You also see on the sample we could utilize an arpeggiator. We move over to the effects and we can manipulate those as well. And when you look down here at the bottom, we can move over to macros and now we can pick which of the macros here show on our perform tab. So you can really set up the sound and the macros however you want. So if you're using complete control or the new contact seven, we can also come over here and we can preview some of the sounds. So we can either go up here and choose a different bank, or we can go up here to the sound type and pick something to narrow down our sound, or move over here to character and start pinpointing the sound that we want. So now let me show you and walk you through the buildup of the song I created using nothing but Ashlight. Now, if you're anything like me, when I see people create these songs, I always wanna know what preset they used. So I will also have that up on the screen so you can see exactly what preset I used. Let's get into it. I ran across this bass pulse and just fell in love with it. Now I wanted that low end to hit a little bit harder. There's a few things that we could do. We could add a plug in, we could adjust the EQ on the fundamental frequency. In this case, I just made it easy. I added some R bass. What's cool is I created that using one single note because it's just an arpeggiated sound. You know I love my piano sound. So next I added a main melodic piano sound to complement that bass pulse. What do you think? Is it sounding a little eerie? Now a good technique on music production is to introduce something new to your listener, even if it's minor, every four, maybe eight measures. So I added in just a little bit of sound here. So when it's first introduced, it's by itself like that. And then the second section of the song it's introduced, I added a low end just to make it a little bit bigger. Then I found this crazy cool sounding kind of heartbeat sound. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The last thing until we get into the second section of the song is just having this ambient high string sound just to give it a little bit of texture and to introduce another new sound to the listener. Super subtle. Now listen as those new elements come in. Now 
now we're getting somewhere. So I don't introduce a new sound into the second section. And then when I heard this, I was like, oh, heck yeah. Take a listen. In that same section, I start introducing a little bit of percussion. Still a part of Ashlight. These are all just single notes. It makes it so easy to use these big epic types of sounds. And then I add one last percussion type of sound just to kind of fill in those gaps. Just one single note, now listen to them together. That's pretty much it. Why don't we take a listen to the full thing? And if you stuck around and you like this, make sure you hit that like button, smash the subscribe. Let me know what you think about this. So I was able to make that entire song in under 30 minutes using only Ashlight. I don't know if you were as blown away as I was hearing that library and you only heard a smidgen of it. So if you like what you heard, I'll drop a link below down in the description. But until next time, I'm Phil, keep creating music.